So actually, granular material, it really depends on what kind of face you're uh, talking about. So imagine taking some sand in your hand. And if you uh, pour it out of your hand, it will just flow as a fluid. If it falls on the table, it forms a heap, and that's more like a solid. And then if you throw it in the air, it flies away like a gas. So it really depends on the boundary conditions and the conditions that you're looking at the material. So I brought today a little prop. Um, this is a uh, casted imprint of an experiment we did in the laboratory. So we are looking at granular materials um, that are different both in size and shape. And if you mix th that and release it on an incline, it forms an avalanche because of segregation. The large particles rise and go to the front. Those large particles are also the angular particles, so they create more friction with the bottom. So they, they slow down, they stop, and the smaller red particles, in this case, push through and form fingers. And that's the granular fingering instability. You can demonstrate um, segregation at home if you take a jar of sand and you put a marble inside it and then you shake it then you can see that the marble rises to the top. It also appears in breakfast cereal, so if you have a bag of muesli, then when you start, when you start it at the start of the week, you have all the nice Brazil nuts at the top. And by the end of the week, um, you get to the bottom and you have all the horrible dusty bits at the bottom. So that's why it's also known sometimes as the Brazil nuts effect.